playing the Perkins suite. Not as well as you or our friend the Colonel. But. I'm ready to go. This is very odd. Your sudden interest in music, Paul? I'm thinking of studying. Oh, well, good. I might be able to help you. Thanks. How delightful that will be. On long winter evenings in our own home, my wife and I playing music together. I misinformed you. I didn't go to Alvid for two days. I was sick. And I misinformed you again. The fish cannery in Alvin is not being converted into a munitions plant. Get the British bonded tonight. And the only person I misinformed was you. My wife. So that information came from you. Proud to say it did. And so did Storheimland. And Morgerson, and all the others. And all the time, of course, you were very much in love with me. I can't think of anyone I've loathed more. Are we ready to go? Go where? On our marriage trip, as we planned. But we will not reach our destination. There will be an unfortunate automobile accident on a mountain road at night. The bride of Major Dichter will be killed. The Major will be miraculously saved. I don't understand this elaborate way of killing me. When you should turn me over to the Gestapo. Then in your unique way you could question me and try to uncover the Stavik underground. That would be a great service to the Nazi cause. But you don't do it. I wonder why. Because the spy in this case is your wife. And Berlin might not understand. They would never trust you again. They might even kick you out of the party. We are ready to leave. Or hide above everything else in the world. That's the true stature of the Nazi Superman, without even the decency of loyalty to your own cause. Shut up. All of you are fundamentally weak, cowardly little people. Why, Superman? <laughs> 